is going to be one of the only vendors that is with you like every moment of the day. So you want to make sure you like them. You want to make sure you're comfortable with them. Hi, I'm John from DGP Wedding Films and welcome to Say Yes to the Best, where we talk to you the best wedding pros to give you wedding planning advice. Subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Instagram. We have new content out all the time to help you with your wedding planning. Today I'm with Jen from Jenny B Photography. How are you doing, Jen? Hey, I'm good. How are you, John? Awesome. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your company and where you're based? Absolutely. So I live in Maryland, but the very outskirts of Maryland. So I cater to a lot of the Delaware region and South Jersey, but I am a wedding photographer. So local to Delaware, Eastern shore of Maryland, South Jersey, some of the Philadelphia area, all those things. <laughs> but I specialize in wedding photography, couples photography, pretty much if you're in love, I want to capture it. So all about that. <laughs> so I've got a few rapid fire questions for our audience to get to know you a little better. So. Uh, first thing that pops into your head. Oh, my cat. <laughs> I was just thinking about it. <laughs> Favorite book? Favorite book, anything with a mystery. I was a big Nancy Drew girl when I was growing up. So mystery, fantasy, I like all of that kind of genre. Favorite ice cream? Anything chocolate. So chocolate, brownie, chunky, any of, any of that genre. <laughs> and your favorite TV show to bend? Oh, currently The Office for the third time. <laughs> I think The Office is definitely the answer I get more often if I ask someone that. Like, what do you binge? It's The Office. And today, Jen, you wanted to talk to our audience about questions they should be asking their photographers so that they kind of know if it's the right fit, as well as what they can expect throughout the whole process, right? Absolutely. So yeah, I know that there's a lot of other resources out there on Pinterest and Google that um, of questions that you can ask your photographer, but I came together with six um, specific questions that I think are important and that some people might not even think to ask. So starting off with number one was how many questions, how many images are included in the final gallery and also how many images are you able to download from the final gallery? Depending on the photographer, I think that this question could potentially maybe save you some hidden fees. Um, every photographer works differently, but um, I know some actually require like additional fees to download their images. I personally don't put a cap on how many images I deliver as uh, like every wedding's different, but usually um, I would say for any photographer it ranges between around 700 to 1200. Um, especially depending on whether or not they have a second shooter with them, which could result in more images being um, included in your gallery. So just make sure that you have access to download all your images without any additional fees and that you're able to download them as many times as you want and all that just to avoid any confusion or possible um, extra spending in the future. And number two, don't be afraid to ask for a full gallery. Um, I know Instagram and websites are always the highlight reels for photographers, which is great, but you definitely want to make sure you see um, how they shoot and edit in all lighting situations. So and everything from getting ready to portraits to family portraits to an indoor ceremony versus outdoor, and especially that reception lighting, sparklers, send off, all the things. So ask for a full gallery so you can see um, a little bit of everything that they include and then um, to make sure you like their bride and groom portraits just as much as their reception photos. So number three, this is especially one that I don't get asked too often, but I think it's important to ask the photographer is what is your backup process like? So it's so important to be safeguarding your memories. These are the most important pictures you're probably ever going to pay for and have in your life. So you want to make sure your photographer is safeguarding them as much as um, they can. So ask them what their gear situation's like, if they have multiple memory cards in their camera, if they have a backup camera. Technology can be fickle, unfortunately, so you just never know when you want to prepare for the worst. And then also what their process is like post-wedding too. So you want to make sure they're backing up their photo, your photos before they're even editing them. And you want to make sure that they're holding on to them like on the memory card too until they actually deliver you the gallery. I also like to keep my edited galleries like for up to a year after delivering them because I have had clients coming to me like months after I deliver asking for them again because something happened with their computer or they didn't download all the ones they wanted so I'm always happy to be able to supply them their gallery um, 
when they asked for it, like if something happened on their end. So that's very important. Number four, um, this is always something that no one wants to think about, but it's also very important, is what happens if your photographer gets sick um, or family emergency and they're not able to make it to your wedding. So um, a lot of photographers usually do incorporate this in part into their contract as well. Um, I know I do, so just make sure they have a backup plan. Obviously, they can't control what life throws at us, um, so make sure they have a backup plan. I personally have my second shooter cover for me as head photographer, and I still edit all the images. If my second shooter can't make it, I am in charge of find, still finding another photographer to shoot that I trust to shoot for your day. And again, I still edit all the images. So, fingers crossed that never happens to ha that has to happen, but make sure they have a backup if that does. Um, and make sure that it's in the contract as well, so you're not left without a photographer. Number five, ask them how long it's going to take to re uh, receive your pictures back. Because, I mean, they're your wedding pictures, you're going to want to gram them, Facebook them, all the things, so you don't want to be awkwardly waiting for like a month with no response, right? So um, I feel like typically it's about um, like 48 weeks for a full wedding. Um, depending, sometimes less, um, depending on the season that your photographer is doing your wedding, whether or not they're super busy or it's more of a slow season. And then also ask them if they send preview pictures because I love sending my couples, like texting them a couple edited pictures that I pulled um, like the day after. And then um, just so they have those to share quickly around people or like just got married, they want to be sharing that they did. So it's always nice for them to have those edited pictures right away. So ask for preview pictures and ask how long the full gallery usually takes to be delivered. And last but definitely not least, number six is most importantly, ask yourself. Because not every photographer is the right fit for you. And that's okay, because there's a lot out there. <laughs> but you want to make sure that you're setting up a time to talk with them over the phone, um, over a cup of coffee. Make sure that you're in contact with them somehow, that you're able to talk back and forth and get to know them a little bit. And I'm sure that they want to get to know you just as much as well. So make sure you're vibing with them. Make sure um, you feel comfortable with them. They, feel, they make you feel comfortable as well, especially um, in front of a lens. And um, just keep in mind, this is going to be one of the only vendors that is with you like every moment of the day. So you want to make sure you like them. You want to make sure you're comfortable with them. Um, same with videographers too. So uh, make sure, ask yourself, ask your fiance, hey, what do we feel about this person? Like, do we like them as a person? <laughs> and um, that I'm sure you'll thank yourself later when you're working with what seems more like a friend as well. Totally agree with that one. Like, I always tell people, you should meet your photographer and your videographer first because like we I know we all try to be very unobtrusive and, and not part of the day, but we are there. So you should really figure out if you like the person and want them around on the biggest day of your life or if they just kind of grind your gears and it's not the right fit. You want to know that before the wedding. For sure. <laughs> Another one of your points that you know, they're all great, but the one that really uh, jumped out to me was the, the idea of backing up because, you know, that's so, so important. I know personally, uh, I've been saved a couple of times. I have kind of like a cloud backup system and um, not, it was none, no projects that, you know, were, you know, still in delivery. It was all stuff that was archived, but also on there were like pictures of my kids from the time they were little to now. And it's, you know, I, I would have been not only in hot water with my wife for losing them, um, I would have been upset. You know, it was everything there, but I had this backup system. Uh, and it's the same thing I do with all of my, my wedding. So choosing professionals, especially with photo and video, who are going to make do everything they can to make sure that your images are safe is just vital. Yep. What do you think the biggest misconception uh, is about being a wedding photographer? Hmm, that's a good question. Um... I would probably say with editing, make sure um, make sure that you like their particular style because they're not just going to change it to what you want. And that's also another good question that I should have added in was to ask them what their style is like, even though that's, you pretty much can tell from their pictures. But um, I have had people before be like, oh, so can you uh, make this like super light and airy for me? And I'm like, no, like that's not really my style. That's not how I work. That's not uh, what really makes me love my work. So they can't just, they don't, we're here to cater to you for sure um, throughout your day. 
but you, there are certain aspects of our work that make us who we are, that we can't just change willy-nilly for um, our specific clients. So as a client that looking for a photographer or a videographer or anyone that has like a style for the finished result, make sure you like um, that style from what you see off of their work and you can see yourself in it as well. Because um, as much as a photographer or um, any other vendor is wanting to work with you as much as they can, um, they can't exactly change what their work is for you specifically. <laughs> I, I, again, 100 percent agree. I know I've shared this story here before, but I'll share it again. Um, I had one client where they sent me somebody else's video uh, and said, hey, can you do something like this? And I, I was new and I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And I did it and they were happy. Um, but I didn't love it because it wasn't what I n normally do. Like you were saying, I know that you know when people have asked me, can you do something like this? And now I say, you should, if you like that, what you should go and hire that person because that's what you like. If you don't like the stuff that I put out, I'm not the guy for you. So yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah, because we want to be able to serve our clients the best that we can too. And we can't do that if we're doing something that doesn't feel like us. So what is the most challenging part of shooting a wedding for you? Probably family portraits. <laughs> Wrangling all the family members in for all those portraits right after the ceremony. Um, which is why I always like to give my brides a little tip to create a family shot list for me so I can be calling out names and not being like, oh, uh, who's, who's your aunt and uncle? Like, so I can be like, Aunt Sally, Uncle Dean, get over here. <laughs> so make sure you have a family specific shot list for your photographer um, that says like bride and groom with like brother Sam and sister Kara, or you know, like make sure you have the names and who they are in relation to you. So that makes the photographer's job so much easier, just pulling the names and getting the people in front of the camera when they need to be for each specific shot. What is your favorite part of a wedding day? Oof, probably a couple different things. Uh, obviously, shooting the bride and groom. Um, so I love capturing a uh, first look, the moments the, the first look that uh, just the emotions that come with that and then, then just the giddiness and the joy that follows and I think um, like just after like if a bride and groom do um, want to have a first look it just kind of makes the whole rest of the day go super like light and smooth there's no nerves after that there's no anxiousness so I love capturing just like the finally moment of okay I can finally get to see you and now we're like in this together for the rest of the day so I love that, and then I also love breaking it down the dance floor at the end of the night once everyone's um, having the party. <laughs> so those are my top two. If you could give every couple one piece of advice, what would it be? So especially with the whole, the whole engaged process, oh, especially for the girls, I know it's so easy to get overwhelmed with all the things that need to be done and purchased and planned. So keep like make sure you and your fiance are the center focus. Don't let that get lost with anything else. Um, and just make, just keep your eyes on each other because you're the reason why this is happening and nothing else matters but you guys getting married. And I think a lot of um, couples are seeing that now with like the whole COVID-19 stuff, like weddings getting canceled, which is the worst, but it what all that comes down to is them. Like their love is not canceled. <laughs> Their big wedding may be, but a lot of couples are still getting married anyway, intimately, and I think that's awesome. And then they're just celebrating later. So just keep your eyes on each other because that's the only thing that matters. What is the favorite part about what you do? Just being able to meet couples and tell their story. It's so beautiful to be able to make art out of someone's love and that I can share with like the world and that the, that couple can share with their family, with their children, with their grandchildren from years to come. Just like capturing all those feelings in that moment that they can still look back on and be able to remember just as vividly like 20 or 30 years from now. Thank you, Jen, so much for being part of the show. It's Jen from Jenny B Photography. All of her information is going to be in the description. Thank you for watching Say Yes to the Best. Uh, again, subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Instagram. We have new content all the time, uh, hopefully helping you with all of your wedding planning. So thank you again and happy planning. <laughs>